For scientists, the best way to learn about the function of a protein is to simply take the protein out of the cell and then look at how the cell functions without the protein. For example, if we took a protein out of a cell and then saw that the cell could not move, then we could reasonably infer that the protein had something to do with movement. Scientists have been engineering an efficient way to do this, the PROTAC, which stands for proteolysis targeting chimera. Before we delve into definitions, let's take a more general look at what the PROTAC is. The PROTAC is an artificial protein designed to harness the natural protein degradation mechanism of our cells. Theoretically, scientists can use it to target and degrade any protein they want. With this technology, there are two main applications. Scientists can either knock down or get rid of proteins within cells to look at protein function, or they can use it to degrade problem-causing proteins in diseases like cancer. Let's begin our journey by looking into the cell. Inside all of our cells, there's the proteasome, which acts like the giant recycling bin or shredding machine of our cells. Once it binds to a protein, it will degrade that protein into its individual amino acid components, which can then be reused to build proteins elsewhere inside the cell. But how exactly does the proteasome know which proteins to degrade? Well, proteins that are mutated, misfolded, or otherwise unneeded are marked with a very visible death signal in the form of a polyubiquitin chain. The proteasome exclusively degrades proteins marked with this polyubiquitin chain, allowing it to differentiate between proteins meant to be degraded and proteins which are functioning normally. But how exactly do these polyubiquitin chains end up on the right proteins? This is the work of the E3 ligase, which detects proteins that are mutated or misfolded. When it detects a damaged protein, it binds to it, repeatedly tagging the protein with the ubiquitin until the target protein has been polyubiquitinated. Now, the target protein is ready for degradation by the proteasome. Now that we understand how the cell machinery works for protein degradation, we might think, wouldn't it be really nice if we could control the E3 ligase and direct it to proteins we want to degrade instead of relying on what the cell dictates as mutated or misfolded? This is where the PROTAC technology comes in. PROTAX, synthetic molecules, have two binding regions, one for the E3 ligase and one for our target protein. The PROTAC will bind our target protein and carry it over to the E3 ligase, where it will dock in and the E3 ligase will polyubiquitinate the target protein. Now our target protein has a polyubiquitin chain and will be degraded by a proteasome. No matter what protein a scientist wants to study, he can design a PROTAC for that protein. Due to the immense control and specificity scientists have had over this platform, they have been able to find immense success with it, targeting drugs traditionally deemed undruggable. Due to its ability to degrade virtually any protein, I believe the PROTAC technology is the next great step forward in biomedical research.